Sit here cleaning. I need to finish cleaning the kitchen, but I'm probably not gonna get it done because I still gotta clean my body and get in the shower and wash my face. Care of this nasty ass acting man. I thought when I was in my twenties this shit was gonna be gone. I've been breaking out since I was in elementary school. I got my hair plaited up for for when I get ready for bed and shit like that. Now, I wanted to make a video because I was watching videos on YouTube, you know, about rat, this ratchet crazy shit people have done in their life. Um, I was watching a lot of side bitch videos and shit like that because that's that was just topic of interest, I guess, for tonight. You know, the side bitch series about being bitches, I guess, selling for less. And one thing that popped into my mind was crazy sex experiences that I've done had shit me and my homegirls don't talk about and the things that I've mainly have done. And one of the craziest sex experiences I had was, you know, what was it about this time last year, three years ago, when I first met, because I met my ex on Facebook. And when we started dating and he finally came out here the first night we had sex. We went outside in my backyard because I have a like an outhouse shed back there. Because I was trying to be discreet because my grandmother was here. And she's like, she's very uptight, you know, old and old fashioned. She's like, if you're going to have sex, wait till you marry. But we, I'm way past that. I'm, I'm experienced. So I go outside in the shed. And we start making out and kissing. I pull my pants down. He pulls his dick pants down. His dick harder than a stack of bricks. Dick like this. Harder than a stack of bricks. I bend over so he can get it from the back in the shed. He stroked me three times. And I just... <laughs> I farted on his dick. I busted out laughing super hard. Then when I farted and started laughing I started pissing on his Jordans in this shed and I laughed super hard and then I farted again I'm like <laughs> that shit was funny as hell <laughs> one thing I miss about my ex other than the fact that he used to hold me at night is how comfortable I was in front of him I feel like one thing's important if you're going to be in a relationship besides the fact that I'm kind of a nasty, weird bitch is that I'm comfortable with my partners. Like, I, I need to be able to be myself with you, you know? Friend first, lover second, because he was somebody I used to talk to every day before I finally seen him in person. And he was cool about it. Like, we laughed really hard. <laughs> Like, I can't, he's like, I can't believe you pissed on my Jordans. We were together for like four years, though. I started talking to him when I was 19. I'm 23 now, but I've been single for like a couple of months now. So, I thought it was just a little funny story to talk about. Time, I farted on my ex-boyfriend's dick in a shed in my backyard. And every time I think about that sexual experience, it makes me feel bad about breaking up with him. You cheated on me, but I'm, I farted on your dick, and it makes me feel bad about myself. <laughs>